which is the perfect time, luckily for me, to move to the best ways to keep up with pop culture, for which I have the amazing Vore Charnas to save the day <laughs> with the Instagram, Celebrity Instagram. What are they all do? But there was breaking news, though. Isn't there breaking news on Celebrity Instagram? Okay, so it's not Instagram, but it's still social media, so I'm going to cheat a little bit because I'm very excited. The Princess of Pop, Britney Spears, as you all know, is coming, is coming to Tel Aviv for her first time ever, July 3rd. Of course, I'm going to the concert. Of course, I got the VIP tickets, but never mind. I'm horrified. <laughs> no, amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> it's my, my no, child. Britney pop Spears coming star. to Israel. I think that that should actually trump any other upcoming visit to Israel. I completely Completely, completely agree. agree. Oh, I like what you did there. That nice play on words. Yeah, I get yeah, it now. Yeah, there. Very nice. Okay. So <laughs> she, she, there's a video that's been circulating all over Facebook with a message that she has to her fans. Let's take a look. Please. <laughs> The princess of pop. I love this. Shalom. How I much are it. tickets? Uh, th 340 shekels. Okay. That's how much okay. We had okay. Like that. I'm not going to ask you how much VIP tickets are. I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say how much I spent on that. But, <laughs> yes, moving, moving on. on to Instagram. Last week was the Met Gala, right? Of course, so Kylie Jenner, like we spoke about last week, was Which we weren't invited to. No, no, we couldn't right. afford tickets. Anyways, um, she posted a photo on Instagram with her sister Kendall, with Wiz Khalifa, Jaden Smith, Travis Scott, and Puff Daddy, Sean P. Diddy Cones. I don't know how he's going by these these days. Anyways, so she posted this photo with the whole gang on on uh, Instagram, and a few days later, Puff Daddy, Diddy, Sean P. Diddy Combs posted <laughs> the same photo, however, cropped out Kendall and Kylie Jenner from the photo, and he captioned it, hashtag black excellence, hashtag team love. <laughs> so this has caused a media frenzy where... I mean, have you ever cropped the picture of your ex-boyfriend of, uh, out of picture, you know, out of pictures of course, that you had? Exactly, like thank you. Of course, ripping, ripping I burn it. Of course, of okay. course. Okay. So I I not when I'm with the, 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 the Jenner the, sisters. The, Come on, and then you hashtag it black excellence. Anyways, so this brought about the, the, what is now called the hashtag Diddy Crop, okay. which is basically whenever you crop out photos of people that you don't, you know, don't necessarily need It's the hashtag Diddy Crop. Exactly, and he, this isn't the first time that he's done I'm that either. Use this. The hashtag, I know, it's my exactly. <laughs> Yes, Ash. This isn't the first time that he's done it. It's actually the second time that we know of. He, he also cropped out Kim Kardashian a few years ago from a photo from the Yeezy season two fashion show where they were, he was sitting in front row with Kim Kardashian, Rihanna, uh, Jay-Z, Beyonce, and his girlfriend and completely just Went did he bed. cropped out Kim the Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, hey. Reese Witherspoon posted a photo on Instagram. My doppelganger, you mean? Yes, of Thank course. You. Of course. She posted a photo with Nicole Kidman and Laura Dern, her two co-stars from Big Little Lies, the HBO miniseries. I want to see that one. Oh, it was. So you haven't seen it? No. Oh, no. I have no life. Okay. No. Okay. Yes. I'm not gonna. We're not no. gonna do any no, spoilers, no spoilers. No spoilers. But the fans want a season two, and she captioned the photo, "Working on some new lies?" Question mark. So no one actually knows if this means that they're shooting in a sequel, if it's coming out. There's HBO hasn't said anything. It's complete rumors. No one knows what's going on. All I can tell you is that the director Jean-Marc Ballet said that he doesn't want to do a season two because he said season one ended so perfectly. Why that even no go there? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Why ruin a good thing? What is making a comeback? I'm still, I'm, I still have the, you know, your perfect French in my head right now. I forgot you're Canadian. <laughs> yes, go ahead. <laughs> what is making a comeback is Will and Grace. Yes, after 11 years, Will, Gr Will Grace and the entire cast are coming back to like NBC. Come back, come back a full season. Full season. Full coming, season. Coming back week. this fall. Um, NBC announced the show's return in January. And last week, they posted a photo to their Instagram account with the, the poster. And on Monday, uh, Deborah Messing posted the second poster poster of the of the upcoming season and Deborah Messing who I just want to say you know I think several days ago had this emotional statement to Ivanka Trump about begging her to be more of a feminist but yes that's just something <laughs> that came to mind go ahead so she's very excited about it the show did win a, a 16 Emmy Awards it ran from for eight seasons premiering in 1998 and after 11 years uh, Deborah Messing just says that it it just feels right to bring the show back <laughs> What else is coming back is American Idol. <sighs> dum, dum, dum. Season what? <laughs> 
this will be season 16. They just wrapped season 15 back in 2000. That's back a decade in 2016. and a half. Yes. That's entirely a decade right. and a half. The problem okay. is, first of all, it won't be airing on Fox this time. It'll be airing on uh, ABC. And no one knows who's going to be the host, who will be the judges, because Ryan Seacrest just signed a gig co-hosting with Kelly Ripa right. on Live with Kelly and Ryan, right. which is right, in right, New York right, City. Right, 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 right. And Idol is filmed in L.A., so... <laughs> No one knows, but it'll be airing in uh, March 2018. It's gonna sound, it sounds almost like a theory on foreign policy nowadays. No one knows. <laughs> no one knows. We know something happen, in the far this or that. will happen, but we don't know when, where, or, yeah. or how. But finally. <laughs> and finally, we have Jimmy Kimmel, who took a, a paternity leave. Uh, last week uh, because his son was sick and, and had open heart surgery so he came back to the show uh, Monday night and he addressed again the health care crisis as he calls it in the US and, and all the time that oh, we no. have sadly sadly thank you no that was amazing we'll be right back <laughs>